campers. It's Ashley. Um, I want to say hey and hope that everybody's doing well since you guys are at home. Some of you are not able to go to school right now and I know you're having some fun at home. So I wanted to give you guys a project that you can work on while you're at home. Uh, this is just a fun craft that sometimes we do here at school and I know that spring has started so um, I'm going to give you this fun project so you guys hopefully can do this while you're sitting at home. So we're going to make a caterpillar and we're going to use some crafts, some items from just, you can grab these at home, um, just different things and I'm going to give you some examples. So first we need a plate and we're going to color our plate. So grab a plate from your kitchen. If you don't have a plate, we can just use a piece of white paper that's a circle. So I have two plates here. We only need one for the craft. Um, I'm going to color this plate with some of my awesome paint sticks. So campers, you guys can color with paint. You can color with markers, crayons. I also have some of these bingo daughters. So I'm just going to go crazy. I'm going to go in circles. We can work on our shapes with this. Um, I could also decide to go in lines and color it. This is going to be my snail's back. Okay, I might decide that my snail, he needs some blue. So I might put some blue dots on my snail. Okay, can you see this guys? Okay, then I might decide that my snail also needs some green wavy lines. So I'm going to give him some wavy lines today. Shake my bingo daughter up. All right, so this is his awesome back. He needs a green circle. Okay. All right, so there's one back. Then I have another plate, so I just wanted to show you what else you could do. If you wanted to work on some more shapes, you could do some squares on his back. Just use whatever you have at home. Okay, get your craft stuff out. Work on your shapes. You can work on your numbers with this craft. So I might decide that I wanted to choose orange, and my number was four. So I'm going to color in the four squares that I have. Okay, so I'm going to color them in real good. And this way, my snail has an awesome back. See his shell right here? His awesome back. So that's the other one. I like this one because it has wavy lines and I think it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to use this one for my snail. So the next thing we need to do is use a circle. We actually need two circles, okay? So I'm going to use two circles to make my snail. I'm going to make his body, and I'm going to make his head. So we can get a green piece of paper. If you don't have green, you could probably use blue. You could be creative and just decide what color do you want your snail to be, okay? So we're going to cut out a circle. So I can draw a circle on here, work on my shapes and my um, motor skills, and I can cut it out. Work on using my scissors. And then I can use this circle. So I can make one circle a little bit smaller. Then I could work on my motor skills again, and I can make this circle a little bit bigger. So this one's going to be a little bit bigger. See how this circle's a little bigger, but this circle's a little smaller. So I'm going to cut out my big circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's fine. So I have my bigger circle, okay? So now I'm gonna get one small circle. So I like this one. This is a good small circle. I'm gonna get one big circle. I like this one I had earlier. And it's fine if you cut out a few different ones. You could just choose which one you like, okay? And this is gonna be his body. So for this, because I had a plate and tape and uh, glue doesn't really work that well with this, I'm gonna use some tape. So if you have some tape at home, you could use some tape and I'm gonna tape it down. Okay, see? If you had a plate where your glue works, you could use some glue. Um, but the tape will work better on this plate. So I'm gonna put his head right next to his body. And I'm gonna, just because I don't have glue over here, I'm gonna use the tape again. But you could also use your glue stick. So I wanna see how he looks. Oh, he's so awesome. But his body fell off. Let's put his body back on. I might need more than one piece. What do you think, Miss Melissa? A stapler? Yes. Yeah. Miss Melissa says we might need a stapler. <laughs> so you could also use a stapler if you want him to stay on here a little bit longer. Sometimes you make mistakes and you have to learn. 
All right, so there he is. What do you think, Miss Melissa? That's good. Miss Melissa's recording. That video is for really us. good. Okay. So he has a big body, a big shell, a big back back here. He has a body. He has a head. What else does he need? Probably something. Eyes. Yeah, something to see with. All right, so you can make some choices. I like this pink right here. So I'm going to use this, and I'm going to give him an eye. Just, just one, because it's just one side of my snail. I'm going to give him a big eye right here. He also needs a mouth. So I kind of like my marker over here to give him a little mouth right there. And then he needs something to hear with, okay? So just because I have the tape over here, I'm gonna use the tape. You could also use your glue, you could use a stapler, but I'm gonna give him two antennas to hear with, okay? All right, so I'm gonna tape those on, and then we're gonna see what he looks like. Does he look like a snail, Miss Melissa? Yes, he All does. All right. So that's the end of our project. I might give him a little bit more tape in the front just to kind of help him. Just depends on which plate you guys use at home. But I don't want him falling off. So, all right, and there's our snail. So you guys can try this project at home. You can do it your own way. It's up to you. And I hope to see you guys soon at Camp Holiday. Bye.